Bonjour tout le monde. We are going to be looking at an infographie, an infographic today. An infographic is something like this that has information and graphics, hence the name. Um, and it's a good way to learn how to do readings in a foreign language because there are images um, and the, the wording that there is, the, the text that there is, is pretty um, simple and uh, therefore easy-ish to understand. But I'm going to walk you through it because it's not super easy to understand either. Um, bon. So remember, our mot de passe this week is j'ai peur. J'ai peur. So this infographie is about les phobies. Une phobie, c'est une peur incontrôlable. So a fear that you can't control. 80 millions d'Européens souffre de phobie. They suffer from phobias. Souffre de phobie. Et vous, qu'est-ce qui vous fait peur? What makes you scared? What scares you? Alors, uh, don't worry about the fact that there's two of them here. That is uh, just a stylistic thing. You are just going to look at the one side. It's exactly the same on both sides. Alors, des phobies courantes, ça veut dire des phobies um, communs, common or, or uh, seen pretty, pretty uh, regularly. Arachnophobie, l'arachnophobie, c'est la peur des araignées. Hématophobie, hématophobie, c'est la peur du sang. Ay, ow, sang. Son, blood, son. Ophiobie, ophiobie, say, no, ophiphobie, désolé, ophiphobie, sorry about that, it's hard to pronounce in either language. L'ophiphobie, c'est la peur des serpents, la peur des, ser la peur des serpents. La peur de l'orage, c'est la brontophobie, boom, boom, l'orage, storms. La musophobie, c'est la peur des souris. Souris, little mice. Um, la nyctophobie, c'est la peur du noir. The dark. Okay, ce sont des phobies courantes, des phobies common, common. Mais les phobies les plus étonnantes, the most astonishing or most surprising, uh, some of these, to me, are astonishing. Others, not so much. So you can make your own uh, conclusions here. This one's pretty astonishing. La la f no. La lopophobie. A lopophobie. C'est la peur des chauves. Bald people. Chauve. Hmm. La votaphobie. C'est la peur des factures. Les factures, ça veut dire bills. Bills, which is pretty understandable to be afraid of, of bills. Uh, this one, especially since the, the newish It movie from a few years ago, I don't think it's all that uncommon, but la coulorophobie, la coulorophobie, c'est la peur des clowns, la peur des clowns. La nomophobie, la peur d'être séparé de son téléphone. La nomophobie est très commun pour les adolescents. I think that for teenagers, this is a pretty common fear. La nomophobie, uh, being separated from your phone. L'ergophobie, c'est la peur du travail. Remember, travailler, la classe travail. Get our hammer out, we're working. La peur du travail, c'est l'ergophobie. La nu pa, la nu, oh la la nutaphobie, la nutaphobie, c'est la peur du célibat, célibat. See how this person's alone by themselves? Le célibat, ça veut dire being single, being single as opposed to being in a couple or being married. So, these are some phobie étonnantes, some uh, phobias that are a little bit more surprising. Here's my cursor, phobie les plus étonnantes, more surprising maybe than some of the more common ones. Okay, and then down here, there's just a little note that's kind of interesting. La réalité virtuelle peut aider à guérir. So virtual reality can help to cure 
les phobies en s'y confrontant, so by confronting them, dans un monde imaginaire, in an imaginary world. So something that I don't know much about, but it's kind of an interesting concept to think about virtual reality being used as a cure for some of these phobias. Okay, so next part, you are going to be looking at these words in English, phobias, fears, suffer, etc. And you need to find those words up in the document. So as I told you before, please do not just go to Google Translate and type these in. The idea is that you're finding them in the article. So some of these are cognates, like phobias. That's pretty easy. Phobie, right? Phobie. Some of them maybe aren't quite as easy, like fears. Fears, well, we know that to be afraid of something, if I'm afraid of something, I say, j'ai peur. So the word peur means fear. Okay, we're not going to go through all of these, but that's just kind of what I expect you to do here. Um, and also, you'll notice that these are more or less in order, so that's going to help you out too. So look at look for cognates, look at the different images. Also, pay attention to whether the word is a noun, like phobias, a thing, an object, or a concept in this case, or a verb, like suffer, or being, etc. So that's going to um, hopefully help you out a little bit. Down here, don't worry about this. This is something I'm going to have you do in a Flipgrid uh, video. So that's it. This is what I need you to do with la l'infographie. It's just kind of read through it, look at it, and then see if you can find these items, these words in English, in French, in these two uh, infographics. Okay, au revoir tout le monde.